Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make some frozen treats. These are so delicious, they're easy to make. You can keep them in a freezer for up to three months in an airtight container, if you'll still have them by that time. These are kids friendly, adults friendly, guests friendly. These are really good for parties, get together, or any day or any occasion. What I like about these treats is that they can be made ahead of time and kept in the freezer until ready to serve. So let's add, let's make some. First, we'll need some frozen raspberries. I bought some fresh raspberries day before, washed them and let them dry completely, then placed them in a single layer spacing in between onto the tray and kept them in the freezer overnight. Next, we'll need some chocolate. The chocolate I used is Lindt chocolate. This chocolate is creamy and delicious, but you can use any type of chocolate you and your family likes, as long as the chocolate is creamier in texture and it doesn't need additional oil, like baking chocolate. Baking chocolate has harder texture and slower melting point, and to make it more creamy and delicious, it requires additional oils as fat. Or you can do what I did is to use different types of chocolate. For the milk and white chocolate I use Lindt and for the dark chocolate I use Lily dark chocolate bar. Which I chopped into smaller pieces that is just for tempering purpose so it would melt easily and quicker. So we have here frozen raspberries, three different chocolates, some milk chocolate, some white chocolate, and some dark chocolate. You can use all three different kinds of chocolates or you can use just one. Then we'll need some tray that can easily fit into freezer lined with parchment paper that is to prevent chocolate from sticking to the tray. Then for easy dipping we'll need some spoons or toothpicks. Melt chocolate in the microwave for 30 seconds, stirring in between every 15 seconds until chocolate is melted. Making sure not to burn chocolate since microwaves are different in heat differently. The chocolate should be melted but not hot. Use small spoon or toothpick Dip each raspberry into melted white chocolate. Make sure the whole raspberry is covered in chocolate and place each white chocolate covered raspberry onto the parchment lined tray. And repeat with the rest of the raspberries. But since I was making three different flavored chocolate covered raspberries, I didn't dip all the raspberries only into white chocolate. Now that's when the fun began, start dipping raspberries into milk chocolate and then into dark chocolate. And if you notice it, the chocolate brand I was using was hardening at the room temperature and didn't need it the dipped raspberries to be placed in a freezer in between of coats. But if I would be using the baking chocolate, it would need the dipped raspberries to be placed into freezer in between of coats, so it all depends on the chocolate you're using. Now let's make some delicious double dip flavored berries. Dip some of the white chocolate covered raspberries into the melted dark chocolate and place back on the parchment lined tray. The white dark chocolate dipped raspberries are the most everyone's favorite and they make them a lot for the parties. And continue dipping the remaining raspberries into different flavored chocolate. Once all the raspberries are coated, place in the freezer for about 15 minutes to let the chocolate harden. Of course, it depends on the chocolate you're using, some chocolate requires up to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
When the chocolate covered raspberries are completely frozen, transfer them to an airtight container and store them in the freezer for up to 3 months. But since these are so delicious, they might not even last a month. And to store these, I like to use a few smaller containers like these ones. Just make sure they are BPA free, food grade and freezer safe. Since this time I didn't make much of these treats, so I stored them into one container. But normally when I make a lot, I store them into separate containers by flavor. and treats. My husband loves these. They'll be gone by next month. If my husband loves these, kids will love them too. And they're so delicious. They're just so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Mmm. So good. So that's it for today's recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more recipes, ideas, organizing, and cleaning. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.